Hey guys, good morning. <clears throat> I'm looking for my tennis shoes so I can get ready to go. I'm wearing tennis shoes today because I am sure my foot will start hurting with chunkless. So I'm gonna be smart and start off with my tennis shoes. Making myself a little bit of breakfast before we go. Some raisin toast or cinnamon toast with peanut butter and an apple. Good morning. Putting on tennis shoes is probably one of the hardest things to do while you're pregnant. <laughs> I can get my right foot, but for whatever reason, my left foot is a lot harder. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm more flexible on my right side and I can put my leg up higher or what, but it's definitely a challenge. And it helps when my feet aren't swollen because I'm able to just kind of slip it in. But I have lotion on my legs too, so that doesn't help either. Baby bump today. Big, 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 big. <laughs> I'm already running a little late. I was supposed to pick up my mom at nine. It's 8.57, sorry mama. But I wanted to share with you guys what we got ourselves for an early Christmas present. This was on sale at H-E-B, normally $130, it was on sale for $65, and it's the 8-quart Instant Pot. I'm so excited. The one at Walmart for Black Friday is the 6-quart for $49, so that's still a really great deal if you have a smaller family. We're about to be a family of six. There's no reason why we can't use the 8-quart, so I was very excited for $15 more to get the 8-quart before Black Friday. Awesome deal. Okay, case in point, we're at Walmart. Whole gang's here. Mom, Melissa. <laughs> um, $79. Now, this is different. This one is $49 on Black Friday, but it's the six quart. Right now, it's $79 for the six quart. We paid $65 for the eight quart. However, I do like that this one comes in black and silver, but we need the bigger one. We're separating out stuff because, Lord, with all these children in this house, <laughs> we we filled up two whole carts full of stuff. It's insane. This is what we ended up with. All this and all this. And look, there's more over there. <laughs> we legit only got rid of a few things. It's pretty sad. This is what I'm buying. Gloves for the girls, because they're three pack for $1.74. So I got the teal, light blue and gray, and the dark pink, light pink and black, and a vinyl round table cloth. I don't even remember if we have one of these from last year, but I bought one anyway. So, that's all we got. Everything else is mom's. <laughs> I'm scanning my receipt on Fetch Rewards. Oh, is that the car? That was me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so I told mom. Anyway. Uh, oh, is that what Snap? Is that Snapchat? Yeah. I thought it was. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> the car was telling me something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I told mom and Melissa she need, they need to download Fetch Rewards. You need to download it, mom, and then take a receipt so you can scan it. Okay. What would I need? I've already got. Because you get a free three dollar gift card just for signing up right now. Okay. Hello. Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards. Look, and I'll send you my invite code. So it doesn't matter how much the receipt is. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, you scan well, any I, receipt from anywhere. Um, well, I need, I need this one. And it gives you points. It. it gives you um, points depending on like if they, if you buy something from all the stuff that they have, um, it gives you. And then they have bonus points. Like if you scan any receipt today, you get an extra thousand points or whatever. And just for signing up, you get free points after you scan your first receipt. Oh, okay. So I'll give you my code and that way you can get that. And you can do e-receipts too. I'm talking to you guys and to them at the same time. Oh, okay. Like if you do your online grocery pickup, uh -huh. you can do the e-receipt on that too. Oh, nice, okay. And then when you get so many points, you trade it in for gift cards. Like I've already got a Target and a Walmart gift card. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or you could get a MasterCard. Oh. You can get a whole bunch of different stuff. Okay, that's good. All right, you're gonna send it to us? Yeah, so I'll send it to you. Well, send it in the groups. Okay. I don't know what do you want to eat for lunch. Mm -hmm. I swear that sounds like it's over the speaker. Oh, uh, it's because I have it like in this little. There's like this little. 
like a little folder kind of thing. And I have my phone in it. And the speaker is like oh, down okay. in it. What do y'all want for lunch? I didn't get any of my shopping done. Mom got all of her do hers done. Except Costco. We need to go to Costco. I didn't get anything done, but no. that's okay. Andres and I are gonna go shopping tomorrow, so we'll get some stuff done. Mod pizza. I'm so excited. Melissa should suggested this. And now I'm very excited because this place was so good last week. Yum. Mine's all green, <laughs> except the onions. Oh my god! Mom got a lot of meat. <laughs> she got. And Melissa got a lot of cheese and meat. <laughs> they look good though. So this time I mixed it up a little bit. They didn't have apples, so I got everything I got last time except I added broccoli. Okay, we're in Target, and the only thing I have a whole bunch of stuff on my list, like I said, that I need to look for. The biggest thing that I wanted to find was Thanksgiving outfits, so I'm gonna go look at the Cat and Jack stuff while we're here. I found a Christmas outfit at Walmart I really like, but they didn't have the little girl size, so I may check a different Walmart. But Christmas is a little ways away. I can order them online if I need to. Thanksgiving's in a week, so I need to get that figured out. I did find another seat guardian, and this skip hop I know, and I'm gonna have to take these portable these baby toys. soother I'm gonna have to take them over to mom. that was on my registry mom. that no I want to go ahead and get the and then the one day. thing for so Emmy that my mom still needed to get yep. the rest of the stuff so. is for the boys and okay. all right love I'm you. just along for the ride it's, that's cute Bye -bye. <laughs> oh my gosh is that an adult yeah <laughs> wow it's a unicorn, unicorn onesie. onesie. And it's got a that's funny. That's cute. I feel suffocated in those though. In a I have some Christmas ones and I, I feel like, like I'm like choking. Maybe if I were smaller, they would fit better. Okay, we are home. I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. I know I say that every single day, but I am. I'm very tired. That always takes a lot out of me walking around consistently and just so I'm resting for a little while. <clears throat> then I'm going to get started with dinner i have some thought out chicken and some beef in the fridge so i just got to figure out what we're going to have um, but today was a good day my mom got all her shopping done so what you guys are seeing i'm sure you're thinking oh my gosh that's insane how many gifts that is it's for all six kids both the boys um anderson and logan and all four of mine now because by the time Christmas comes they will be getting stuff for the baby too so I know it looked like an overwhelming amount of stuff but it's literally for all six of them so let's talk about Christmas for a little while and how we do everything I typically talk about this during Christmas time but I figured since some people are doing like Black Friday and they they're just curious how we budget and do things around Christmas time so normally for Christmas, I, you're going to see Lola's pause because apparently she was lonely all day today because no one was with her all day. But for Christmas, normally Andres and I don't actually get the girls a whole lot. Sometimes we'll do, well the last few years we've been doing stockings. We've been filling their stockings with just like little goodies. They've been into like girly stuff so I'll do chapstick or lip gloss nail polish little squishy toys it's usually like dollar three dollar items and stuff like that from Target they love those kinds of things dollar store bath bombs stuff stuff like that they love that so normally that's what we do we do stockings last year Andres and I did where we exchanged stockings with each other which was super fun we've never done that before typically our stockings just stay empty we don't put anything in them and him and I will do like a family gift. For instance, one year I got a vacuum. <laughs> one year uh, we did, I don't know if it was the Mr. Rover. We've done um, like the Ninja Crock Pot before. 
Uh, the Keurig was our present to each other one year. So that's what we typically do for gifts for us. Normally, we don't get the girls anything. Maybe something small that we pick up like on Black Friday or whatever. Normally, we don't get them anything. But because I've told my family multiple times, and if they're watching, they know this, my grandma, my grandma usually has a budget for everyone, and then she gets goodie boxes. You guys have seen that in the past. My mom has a budget, Nin has a budget, and then typically we exchange with my brother Melissa and the boys and my best friend Bia and her daughter. And then this last year we started, no, two years ago we started doing gag gifts, just like $10 or under gag gift for the family, like white elephant style where <clears throat> you draw a number and you go pick a gag gift. And we do anything, I think last year I got toilet paper, which is a, actually a really good thing. Um, we gave away some cologne and body spray. I think Nin ended up getting it. And sorry, my nose, I got a Lola hair flying around. That's, and then last year we ended up doing Secret Santa with just the family, like the adults. We set a $25 limit, oh, her hair. Set a $25 limit and we sent out an electronic email to see who got who and we bought a gift under $25 for that, 25 or under for that person. And so that was pretty fun. Again, other than that, we typically don't do anything because our girls get so much and if you've seen what they get for Christmas, they get a ton without us even buying anything all the time. I mean, because our family spoils them so much and especially because my grandma has a budget, my mom has a budget, Nin has a budget, and they all kind of stay around the same amount. My grandma and my mom stay around the same amount, Nin stays around the same amount, and I think too for us it just feels like so much more because we have all girls, so when they get stuff, it's like, oh my gosh, we're overflowing with freaking Barbies and LOLs and <laughs> whatever else they get for Christmas. This year's all about Pokemon and LOLs and things. So, <clears throat> typically in the past, we've done all Santa presents, like my family has done all Santa presents. We have done a couple years where they got larger items where everyone just kind of pitched in, like the year that they got the swing set outside we pitched in for that as well as everyone from the family and Santa didn't take credit for that one it was the, a family gift um, normally everything else is from Santa this year I think we're switching it up a little bit differently and hopefully you no one had everyone read my disclaimer no one has little ones around but I think we're switching it up a, a little differently and only giving them a couple gifts from everyone that is from Santa that they asked for on their Santa list and then everything else is from the person that bought it. Because it's like I told my mom, like they work very hard to get them gifts and it's not fair that Santa gets to take credit for everything. And on top of that, it's also not fair that, you know, if they compare with a kid, which m the girls are not like that. They're very much humble and appreciate everything. I've never ever had a Christmas in all of their years that I have felt that they've been unworthy, undeserving, ungrateful at all, ever. And even from little up to now, never have we had a Christmas where I've been like, oh, I'm really disappointed in you guys, you know? Like, they're always super grateful, they're very thankful, but I really, my family works really hard to get them stuff and to plan out throughout the year and budget. I really would like them to be able to take credit for it, and so I told them, this year, I want to get Santa bags. I've seen them all over Etsy and different places. In fact, I want to start looking. And the Santa gifts that they got go in there. Everything else is from whoever else got, the, got it for them. I mean, and I'm curious how you guys do it in your home. I have some friends that one gift is from Santa, everything else is from the parents or from grandparents or whatever. Um, I have some people that everything's from Santa. I just don't think that's realistic. What if they go to school? Again, not that the girls ever have been bragging or anything like that, but what if they go to school and they're like, oh, Santa got me this, 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 and this, this. And their friend is like, oh, Santa only brought me a pair of pajamas because maybe that's what's custom in their household, you know? And I just don't ever want that to happen and them to ruin it for anybody else or make anybody else feel bad because Santa got them all these things. When in reality, Santa should only be getting one or a couple of gifts 
that you really, really want, everything else should come from family and friends. <laughs> I don't know. That's just my opinion, but we've never done it like that. When we were growing up, Santa, which was my grandparents, Santa always brought us everything. And then, of course, when we got old enough to realize it was my grandparents, my grandma still put it was from Santa. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just don't want, I know though there will come a time when slowly but surely each of one of them will realize that the gifts are from the adults, but I want them to learn at an early age to be appreciative, even extra more than they already are for the gifts that my family works really hard to get them. Like, I mean, my, they legit worry about this for a good portion of the year and it's just, that's not what Christmas is about, you know, like I want them to want to give back and they do they have very kind hearts very kind souls they're constantly wanting to help and give to other people so I, it's not that they don't deserve it i just oh, lola <laughs> i'm trying to talk i just want them to like i said always stay humble and everything so that's typically how we do christmas so i don't budget for any of them i have actually told them as, as we've accumulated more children over the years uh to lower their budgets none of them listen so I can only force them to do so much. In fact, my mom is very much the worst one. She, because, and she told me today too, she feels guilty because she didn't have a lot of money. Like we didn't have a lot growing up and she was a single parent for a very long time and she couldn't, my grandparents and Nin got us the stuff for Christmas. Like she really couldn't afford to buy a whole lot of gifts. And so she feels guilty and she feels like she needs to make up for that. And I've told her so many times, like that is not, the case I we have going on four children now like you should adjust your adjust your budget accordingly not just tack on another one because we had another one but she doesn't listen so I can only control them so far but they spoil them and do so much that I just for all these years we Andres and I never we buy them stuff all throughout the year we go crazy for their birthdays which are back to back up until Christmas we never really have felt the need to get them anything additional for Christmas. Um, this year we're changing it up a little bit though. <clears throat> we have decided to spend about $100 per child and um, get them something meaningful that they'll, well it's not super meaningful, but something that we'll be able to play as a family and something that will be that will last a long time that they just won't play with and then put it away and not think twice about it. And it's also something that the family can use. So I'm very excited for what we've decided to get them. Um, and I don't know if I should tell you guys or not. I don't, I don't know that the girls will, I don't think they'll watch this. No, especially I wouldn't let them watch it because of the Santa stuff, but we're planning on getting the family a Nintendo Switch, um, which is more than what we normally would do. We bought ourselves an Instant Pot, which was like an early Christmas present. Okay, Lola. And then we have a couple of little things, like I want to get a griddle, and we're buying ourselves a new TV. <laughs> That's like for Andres and I. And then the Instant Pot and the griddle is for like the family. Of course, they're just appliances. But then the Nintendo Switch is for everyone, like for the whole family, for us, for them. No one is going to own it specifically. It's a family gift and we're gonna get it on Black Friday. So we're gonna get that extra set of controllers and some games and that is going to be what we are getting the girls for Christmas. Again, normally that wouldn't be something that we would get. Every once in a while we do pitch in a little bit for a family gift. That's what we're doing this year. We don't get them things individually though because as you can see they're spoiled and all get out. And the big girls are getting something super cool this year for Christmas. So they have a lot less physical gifts but their gifts were more expensive. Autumn and the baby have more physical gifts but their gifts individually were a little less expensive. So. 12 minutes later, <clears throat> that was my explanation on Christmas. And how we budget for it is I really actually think this year uh, we're going to do sinking funds like the budget mom suggests. And I think we're going to do sinking funds for their individual birthdays, including their special day, and Christmas. Because this next year is going to be a little more difficult because we'll have another special day and birthday to do all back to back September October November December and then Christmas so I think I'm gonna do a um a sinking fund for each of their birthdays and then Christmas separate but 
And honestly, I may even do Halloween because getting four costumes is going to be a little excessive. But that's typically what we do is we just set aside a save in our savings. We have a savings where we use it for spending, um, which typically comes out with their birthday for Christmas, stuff like that. Because we do buy other people's stuff for Christmas. So like our Black Friday spending is coming from that little savings account that we put into every single paycheck. So anyway, that's how we do it. So I will stop that there. I wanted to just tell you guys, I'm curious how other people do it. Just because if you're not capable of doing it like we do, that's I don't feel like any way you do it is wrong other than charging stuff. If you have to charge a gift on a credit card, it's not worth it. Find another way to be able to get your kids stuff for Christmas. Like if you're not as lucky and blessed to have family members and it's all on you, you really need to get yourself into a budget. Try and save throughout the year little bits here to have that Christmas budget available and don't go over it, period. No matter what you find and stick to a certain amount of gifts. You know, I, I've heard that the four gift rule is really cool. Something they need, something they want to read and to wear. I think that's cool because the girls did get some pajamas. They got books and they got toys, stuff that they asked for and stuff that they didn't ask for. So they got those in those categories. They just got extra stuff too. But I get not everyone can afford to spend a crazy amount on birthdays and Christmas and if you're really not committed to a budget I don't believe gifts should be put on a credit card that's just my opinion credit cards are for when you just truly can't afford something and you need it like emergencies and stuff like that or if you're using it like I do like we use it to gather points in fact I just got my Costco reward update and we're almost at five hundred dollars i'm super excited for the whole year which is awesome because i use that card for everything and at the end of the month i pay it off so that's a really cool perk about that but unless you're using them for that or for like airline points or something it's not worth it to go into debt to buy your kit your gifts kids gifts for christmas it's just not worth it so that's my two cents. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully no one heard anything. Your kids were away. Let me know in the comments below how you guys handle stuff. And um, if you have any other, I don't know, tips, tricks, or advice or anything that maybe I didn't mention for other people, that would be great. Now you can say it. Go ahead. Good night, Team Rolo. Boop. <laughs> it's my turn. He's mommy. Says he. All right, we are at CVS and it is almost 9 p.m. It is 8.45 and we're at, did I say CPS? I meant CVS. I don't know which one I said. Lord, everyone is in bed. It was a pretty smooth night. I mean, they got home kind of late. I made pasta, shell pasta. They really liked that with, I should have showed you guys, but honestly, I just barely could stand in the kitchen to get dinner done. So I just didn't, I just didn't film. But I um, boiled pasta with broccoli and I used three large chicken breasts, diced those up really tiny, mixed it all together with some what is that? Sun-dried tomato sauce. I don't know what the brand is, but Bertoli maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's like $2 from Walmart or H-E-B. I used one jar of that with the pasta, the broccoli, and the chicken. Mixed it all together, and it was a hit. Everyone loved it. Super simple. I had two ch chicken breasts left. Chicken breasts? <laughs> oh my gosh. Two chicken breasts left over that we just seared and um, cooked in a pan so now we have it for like salads or whatever in the fridge um, I have some ground beef in the fridge and some leftover lasagna and we'll eat those at some point this weekend I don't know Emmy has a concert tomorrow for school and it's at 6 p.m. and I'm assuming it's will probably be there till 7 7 30 so I don't know if we'll really go to dinner tomorrow for my birthday or anything I mean tomorrow's just gonna be kind of a regular day I have to be up super early to get the girls off to school because Andres has school 
and then we have an OB appointment. So the day is, and then we have to pick up the girls early to make sure we make it to the concert on time and Emmy's ready because she has to be in concert attire. The little kids got to wear just their school uniforms and perform at the school, but the big kids have like a whole big thing. So we have to do all that. I don't know that we'll have a whole lot of time to do much. One thing I do want to try and do tomorrow is stop at the mall so I can get whatever mall stuff I need to get done without having to, oh, I constantly feel like I have like a Lola hair flying up my nose. So I can get the mall stuff done without having the girls with me. The next time we go to the mall, we'll probably do pictures with Santa. Prior to that, I really don't. I really just don't feel comfortable taking them with me to the mall, especially during the holidays with all everything that's been going on. I just don't feel comfortable. So yeah, uh, if me and Andres can get that done, Andres and I, if we can get that done tomorrow, that would be great. And I still need to pick out uni uh, uniforms, <laughs> outfits and stuff like that for Thanksgiving and Christmas. But like I said, I may end up doing just online shopping and getting it done that way because I just really didn't have time to do it today. So. The reason I'm at CVS is because I have $19 in extra care bucks that expired today. Thank you to the CVS app for sending me that message. And I have a $4 coupon, so that makes 23 free dollars to spend at CVS. And I have, I wanted to get the girls some like lip glosses or chapstick, like little makeup things. And I also wanted to pick up maybe some makeup things or nail things for Macy for Christmas and so what better place to do it than a place where you can get extra care bucks, use coupons, and I already have free money walking into it. So I will show you guys what I get when I'm done. This one I did on purpose because I can't see past my bump because my hips are hurting and this is the only thing that makes it feel better. So didn't walk out on accident like this. <laughs> Okay, the makeup deals were not at the CVS, which is fine. I ended up going with the household deal. I got three packs of 12 toilet paper, yeah. So 36 rolls of toilet paper, a big thing of game detergent, like one of the large 100 ounce bottles, and a pack of the Tide Pods. And I spent $15.53 out of pocket, and I got a $10 CVS card back, so. $5.53 overall for this is not bad. I wouldn't even have got the Tide Pods for that, plus I got all the other stuff. So not exactly what I wanted, and it actually was supposed to be a little cheaper. It was supposed to be a money maker for me because I had, I think, two or three other coupons that did not come off, but um, they, he said I have to call CVS. He didn't even want to budge for me so it is what it is it's still a really great deal could have been better but still a great deal so now i'm headed home